Well, hey guys, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, back from vacation, uh, healing up, uh, as you guys seen in the community stuff. So I, I saw this video, I, I laughed, and yes, it's a chilly video, um, but it was funny to me, okay? Now, this is this is funny. This is hilarious because we've seen the outcome firsthand on how this actually happened. Uh, usually what happens, Chili will try to fight somebody by saying, oh, I'll rub you in the ground and have sex with you, and uh, we'll do some jujitsu in the gym or something like that. I'll knock you out. You have no chance. Well, Chili, Chili, as you guys remember, did this with Chad Yu. Um, and ultimately what happened was Chili, even after everything was set up, uh, it was going to go for a cancer charity. You guys remember, it just happened. Everybody knows it. And Chili backs out by faking that, you know, he has knee problems and high blood pressure. Now, I'm not saying he doesn't have high blood pressure or knee problems, but, but it's quite convenient because it's very close to him getting his ass kicked. And he still went on, say, saying things like, I'm going to come back and I want to whoop Chad Goo. And then you see this. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's go play it. And, you know, we'll see. The badging gun. Let's go to the gym work out together. Let's see how you do. <laughs> let's see how you do, tough guy. Take off the badging gun. I'll tell you what. Come to the gym. Let's find out. Right now. Right here in front of 500 people. I agreed to meet you at the UFC gym. 500 bucks I'll put online. I'll bet you have no chance. I'll bet I wipe you up. I'm, 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 I'm saying let's go to the gym and train. No way. I would never. Let's go train jujitsu right now, bro. Oh, yeah. Smart man my ass, bro. Because let me just tell you something, punk. Let me tell you something, punk. You'd have no chance. Zero. Okay, so there you go. That's that's enough of that. That's enough of that. So we, we've seen this before. We've seen Chili will make a threat to somebody, and when it comes to say say let's say the cop accepted, okay, Chili would have backed out of this. He would have chickened out because Chili knows. Chili knows a the cops most likely going to say it now because you know most cops aren't stupid as much as Chili paints them out to be. Um, Chili is a pussy. Now, let, let me go ahead and tell you this. Let me go tell you this. I'm not a fighter. Uh, I've actually stood my ground against Chili. We, this happened last year where he came to the Ironton auction, and the only thing he could say to me was, oh, I'm going to hold you down and have sex with you. He does that. He does that a lot. A lot of men. I don't know why. It's, it's just it is what it is. But here's the thing. Here, here's a promise. Uh, here, here's something that would happen. Okay, let's say Chili decides to come back to Ironton and face his warrant and, you know, do all this stuff. And he challenged, I don't know, let's, he challenged me to a fight. Now, I'm not a fighter. The only bit, bit of fighting I know is what Chad Gu taught me. But I know from standing right next to Chili, as he's all talk, he's just a hot air balloon. Uh, a little midget, basically. I'm not going to say the R word, but he's the R word. You guys know what I'm talking about. I keep on getting in trouble for that. But here's the here's the truth. Here's the truth. I would knock the fucking Botox out of his fucking face. Uh, it'd be really quick. It'd be really easy. Uh, a, because he's not going to fight. He, he won't fight. He, he'll come to me and he'll, or he'll get on his channel and start saying, oh, I, I would take him down. He has no chance. He's fat and huge and... Uh, I'd roll him around all over the ground, and I would get on top of him and beat his face. And Chili, it'd be really easy to knock you out. Uh, give me one round. Give me one round. One round. It's all, it's all it takes. I'll train. I'm not doing that jujitsu shit. You're going to box. You're going to be a man. We're not going to roll around so you can try to stick your finger up my ass. That's not going to happen. I know that's what you're excited about. I know that's why you want to roll around with cops, but... Here's the, nothing against jujitsu, okay? Jujitsu is a sport. Jujitsu is fighting, and you know I respect jujitsu fighters. And Chili is not a jujitsu fighter. Uh, the only thing he's got his training was in the fourth grade when I guess he made what was it third place. But he still says he can roll people around like he's Colin the fucking Gregor, which is hilarious, really hilarious. Like just to see that. Now, like I said, I'm out of shape. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm huge. I'm 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 slow. I you know all this stuff. I'm not a fighter. I've never been in a fight, but I can almost guarantee you. I can kick Chili's ass very easily. It would be really funny because he'll be on his little live stream, putting his camera up in his face, 
telling his viewers how he's going to roll me around. Then he's going to look at me and says, don't touch my face, bro. Don't touch my face, dunce cat. I'm going to break the fucking Botox out of your fucking face. It's That's what would happen. Uh, do, you, do you understand Paris Hilton? Do you understand Paris? Paris Hilton. That's your new name, by the way. It's Paris Hilton. Uh, you know, you, you can get you and your bots subscribers, your bot likes. And I know how it works, dude. I know exactly how it works. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I know how this shit works. I know you're buying subs. I know it. everybody does. We're not stupid. You want to sue me about that? Let's go ahead. Prove it. Prove that you're not buying subs. And also come to Ironton. What are you fucking afraid of, dude? What are you afraid of? I, I, we can even do it the same place. We're just going to do it at Chad's. I don't have a gym. Let's just go to the fucking backyard. You and I. I'm not signing no fucking papers either. It's going to be you and me being a man. What well, man versus midget. That's, that's actually unfair. It's actually unfair. And yeah, I'm fat, but I'll sit on you. Okay? If I have to. Like, you threaten to have sex with me, I'll just sit on you. It'd just be easy. It'd be really easy to knock you out. Really, really easy. And I have full 100% confidence that that would happen. That I would beat you in a fight. It'd be really easy. You're not going to come. You're not coming. I know this. We all know this. And even if you did... Even say, let's say, I don't know, a year from now, you decide, hey, let's let's schedule a fight a year from now. Okay, let's do that. I'll train. I'll train. I'll, I'll get back into training. I'll get back into fighting. I'm not doing jujitsu, doing boxing, or we can do wrestling. I, like actual, you know, wrestling, macho man, Randy Savage shit. Not, not, not none of that stuff where we're rubbing around and you trying to touch my nipples. That's not happening, okay, Paris, Paris Hilton. I a lot of people you threaten to fight. A lot of people laugh at you because they've seen how this happens before. I don't understand how you got your dumb fuck audience. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them are, because there are some really good people that watches you, and I can name a few of them. So if if you know me and we've talked in the past, you probably know that I don't hate you. I I don't want I don't like. I don't like Paris Hilton very much, but, you know, that is what it is. But to get on the internet and threaten a cop again to say he's going to wipe him up, the same guy that chickened out, that left the state because, A, he had a warrant, he left, Chad Gu actually set this shit up. We had, we had a match, we had a location, we had the ticket, we had the belt, it was all there. We had the audience. You had money that was going to come in for you, even though it should go to charity. But at the end, when I got closer, you chickened out. You pussy-ass beta bitch. That's what you are. That is that is what it is. And, you know, I don't want to rant for any much longer about Chile, but, you know, it's true. It's true. I, you know, I'm not a fighter, but I can definitely... Pretty confident that I can beat the shit out of Chile really easily. I'm very confident in that. Very confident in that. Uh, I'm not afraid of him. I've stood next to him. The guy's four foot nothing. He's got a loud, fast mouth. He's got some fake teeth. He's got some Botox in that face. He's more afraid of getting his face punched than anything. Don't hurt my pretty face. Dude, I would wreck your fucking face. I would knock the brakes off of that face. It'll be easy, I promise you. Very confident. Very confident. If you want to find out, fuck around, find out. Let's do it. Let's let's give it a year. We'll just do it for it. Let's give it a whole year. Actually, if you want to come right now, like right now, we'll just do it now. Come to come to Ironton. Come to Ashland. Be easy. Very easy. Very easy. And I know you're gonna talk talk it up on your side, on your to your fake followers and fake subscribers and the fake likes. Uh, you're going to tell people, I'm going to sue this guy. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to sue this guy that, that really doesn't have much to be sued for. But I'm going to sue him because he hurt my feelings because he said he's going to kick my ass. And that's true. I would. I would. I would break your fucking teeth in. Be very, very quick. Very easy. It's not going to be pain. It's not going to be painless. It's going to be painless for me because I'm going to be knocking you out. Very quick. Very quick. Like I said, I don't know how to fight, but pretty confident. Pretty damn confident. 
I'd say most people that seen your shit, they're probably thinking the same thing. Most of them. Most people are thinking, yeah, Harris Hilton's a pussy. That's what he is. He's he's a pussy. But anyways, guys, hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you soon.